Sunday afternoon here at Mount Barker as we bring you the Eastern Mavericks and the West Adelaide Bearcats here on Austral Sports. Sam Tugwell here with you and alongside me for the second time this season, Tom Edwards. Great to have you, mate. Great to be here, Sam. It should be a cracking day of basketball. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got the Mavs who are just under the pump a little bit at the moment and the, uh, the Bearcats who have uh, pulled up a couple of really big scouts lately. How do you think today will go? On paper, West Adelaide should win. The games, as you know, aren't played on paper. That's exactly right. And obviously a massive signing just recently for the Maz, Adam Gibson, an Adelaide 36ers player. You're keen to see him in action today. He should be fantastic for the Mavericks. Should be a fantastic game. Anytime a 36ers player comes in, watch out. Absolutely, should be plenty of fireworks. Let's get stuck into the women's highlights and we'll get into the men's a little later on. Seventy-two to fifty-six, the final score with West Adelaide getting up by sixteen here at Mount Barker. Nineteen points leading the way there for the Bearcats for Anna Carbo. Also fourteen for Langenbrink and ten points and seven rebounds for Trudy Holland on the West Adelaide side. They have only thirteen points for Gemma Thacker. Could put up a, a real fight there for the Mavericks as they go down in a real tussle. What do you think the letdown was there for the Mavs? It was a close game. The Mavericks went to a three-two zone at the beginning of the game. But they just could not take their opportunities and missed too many open shots. That seems to be about right. Now we're going to head into the men's match where Adam Gibson makes his debut for the Mavericks this afternoon as they take on the runners-up of 2014, the West Adelaide Bearcats. Let's take a look.
While slowly round 14, we may have witnessed the game of the year. What do you think, Sammy? You're certainly not wrong. It was one of the better games we've seen this season as the Mavs getting up by two in an overtime thriller here at Mount Barker. It was, it was sensational to watch, really. It was fantastic, but you must admit, without 36 to Adam Gibson, they might not have been as good as they were. Well, he certainly was a massive part in this game. As we take a look at the stats, a 105-103 victory in the end. In overtime, a massive finish. They were tied at 93 at the final buzzer before going into the extra five minutes. It was 28 points to Peter Crawford that led the West Adelaide Bearcats. He hit five three-pointers and was really destructive. Also 20 points and a massive 17 rebounds for David Sterner there for the Bearcats, but it just wasn't enough as Gibson and DeCorey Jones, 21 points each there, 11 rebounds for DeCorey Jones and four out of seven three-pointers for Adam Gibson. Also 20 points there for Dodman and 19 for Dylan Sean as the Bearcats just couldn't get over the line. Two points, I mean, it was a huge, huge differential in the end. But, gee, do you feel bad? They were so close to pulling off one of the one of the better victories of the season and the Mavs just had it at the end. You do feel bad for them, but you can't take any, anything away from the Mavericks. They were sensational today, led by, as I've already mentioned, Adam Gibson. 21 points, he was unstoppable. It was a fantastic display of basketball here at Mount Barker this afternoon as we wrap up Premier League Sunday for this weekend. Thank you so much for your company and we'll see you in the very short future. Bye for now.